Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get started. Today, find out how the price of IOTA has changed and what the technical indicators SMA, EMA, divergence and stochastic RSI show. If you are unfamiliar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos below. By looking at the hourly time frame for IOTA, we can see that the price moved up quickly with around 17.8% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 44.2 cents. The volume was also high showing that this move was strong and the buyers are taking over. Jumping to the hourly simple moving averages, the current price is above all simple moving averages for this time interval, which looks bullish and it is to watch if the closest SMA, the 20 SMA could hold support or the price will break it to the downside below the current price of around 39.6 cents. Looking at the hourly exponential moving averages, the current price is above the hourly ribbon, which is generally bullish and the ribbon could play as a support, so it is to watch if the price could bounce off it. The current price to watch is around 38.9 cents. The ribbon is spread out so the support should be strong. On the lookout for divergences in the hourly time frame, there was a bearish divergence, but the price went to the upside, which was actually not expected. Jumping to the hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are located in the higher region. This means that the price is high due to overbuying and a change in the trend, or at least some kind of consolidation, can be expected. The K line is below the D line, which shows that the trend has shifted to the downside. Looking at the three hourly simple moving averages, for this time interval, the current price is above all of the simple moving averages, which looks bullish and you should watch if the closest SMA, the 20 SMA could remain stable or the price will dip below it with the current price of around 38.2 cents. Looking at the three hourly exponential moving averages, the current price is above the three hourly ribbon, which is generally bullish and the ribbon could play as a support, so it is to watch if the price could bounce off it. The current price to watch is around 35.8 cents. The support should be relatively strong seeing as the ribbon is spread out. Nevertheless, seeing as THR price moved very quickly and it is situated very far over the ribbon, a pullback or for the price to remain the same for some time can be expected, before it shifts upwards. Jumping to the three hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are located in the higher region. This means that the price is high due to overbuying and a change in the trend, or at least some kind of consolidation, can be expected. Nevertheless, the K line has yet to cross the D line, so it's recommended that you wait and see if the trend does in fact go down. Moving to the daily simple moving averages, the current price is above all simple moving averages for this time interval, which looks bullish and it is to watch if the closest SMA, the 50 SMA could hold support or the price will break it to the downside below the current price of around 31.9 cents. Jumping to the daily exponential moving averages, at the moment, the price is above the daily ribbon, which can be perceived as bullish and the ribbon could play as a support. This means that you should watch if the price could bounce off the ribbon. The current price to watch is around 31.5 cents. The support should be considered because the ribbon is more or less spread out. Nevertheless, seeing as THR price moved very quickly and it is situated very far over the ribbon, a pullback or for the price to remain the same for some time can be expected, before it shifts upwards. Jumping to the daily stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are located in the higher region. This means that the price is high due to overbuying and a change in the trend, or at least some kind of consolidation, can be expected. The K line is currently located below the D line, meaning that there is a downwards trend. In general, the larger time frames have a greater impact on the price, so please remember that when we display different time frames with different indicators. And also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short-term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time. See you next time.